Good morning, Wildcats. I'm so excited to welcome you to the 24-25 school year at the best high school in Gwinnett County Public Schools, Duluth High School. My name is Miss Kinchin, and I am the very lucky principal of Duluth High School. And this is my first year as principal here with you. So for me, it's an extra exciting first day of school. Um, many of you know me because I was your principal at Duluth Middle School, but my Coleman kids, I cannot wait to get to know you and our kiddos who came from other places outside of the Duluth cluster. I'm also really, really looking forward to getting to know you too. Um, we're going to have a great time this year learning and growing and pushing ourselves and persisting when things get hard. We know that you can and will be successful. We believe in you every step of the way. And we're really going to push you to be the best version of you this year because you're capable of it. And we love you so much. We're not letting you opt out of a second of learning this year. So I am excited to bring that energy and uh, watch every single one of you be amazing and achieve at high levels with the support of your teachers and your administrators and our whole staff. Um, I am pumped about all the events that happen in high school. I'm wearing my um, softball t-shirt right now, so I'm repping softball, but I know that there are lots and lots of sports and I will be in the stands cheering you on. I will be at your concerts. I will be at your art shows. I will be at your NJROTC drills and meets and presentations. Um, I want to come and see your clubs that you're participating in. I know there are so many clubs at our school and I can't wait to see the different ways that you guys engage with each other and with the community and within our building. So just, um, just know that I am all in this year in coming alongside you in the ways that you participate as a wildcat in our school community. There is something for everyone here and I want each and every one of you to have your community and your place where you feel welcome and you feel safe. Um, it just makes school that much more, um, meaningful for everybody when you've got something that you're engaged in. Um, my biggest focus, however, is going to be on your academic achievement. So that means I'm going to be in and out of your classrooms a lot. My ninth graders who know me are used to that. Um, coming in and out of your classrooms will be a very normal thing for me because I want to see what you're learning. I want to encourage you. Um, I want you to know that I'm invested. And I also always want to support your teachers because they work so hard to plan engaging instruction for you. And I want to make sure that I back them up with all of the hard work that they do. Um, I do want to talk to you about something very, very, very important right now. So I need your attention. One of the most crucial um, factors in you being successful in school is very simple. And it is simply that you are present. I learned this summer that we have way too many students at Duluth High School who are not coming to school every day, one, or who are coming to school, but they're spending several periods a day not being in their classes. This is not okay, and this is something that I cannot let continue because if you are not in class, you are not learning, and if you are not in class, you are not safe because we don't know where you are, and there are things happening in bathrooms, for example, that should not be happening in bathrooms, that is not safe for you and not safe for other kids who walk into a bathroom and really just want to use the bathroom. So we are going to do an attendance plan this year that is going to help all of you be in class every period of every day and is going to make the bathrooms safe for bathrooming again. Hooray! So you're going to see that every grown-up in this building is going to be out supervising bathrooms and hallways all day long. In the morning, there will be grown-ups standing outside of all the bathrooms. During transition, there will be grown-ups standing outside of all of the bathrooms. During class time, there will be grown-ups walking in and out of bathrooms, through hallways, and in and out of stairwells. 
so that we can make sure that all of our kiddos are where they are supposed to be, which is class at all times. Also kiddos, this is very important. There are some bathrooms that are now closed permanently. So if you see a plastic barrier, I'm sure you've already seen them, but if you see a plastic, like a traffic barrier on a, outside of a bathroom, it means that that bathroom is closed permanently and is no longer being used at our school. Now don't worry, there's still plenty of bathrooms open. Every single, every single building has a bathroom, but if there is a barrier in front of a bathroom, it is closed and no one is allowed in there. You will have eight minutes this year to transition from class to class. That's more than last year, and it is plenty of time for you to get to your class and also stop at the bathroom if you need it. However, if you have an emergency or an urgent need, you will be able to go to the bathroom during class, but you will wear a hall pass that must be on your person every second that you are in the hallway going to and from the bathroom, and you will check out on a student desktop computer that will be in every single classroom. That way we will know where everybody is at all times and we can help keep you safe, which is very, very important to us. Um, I think that's it for our bathrooming plan. Just remember that we are doing this because we need you in class learning and we need you safe and we need our bathrooms to be used for bathrooming. Last thing I wanna to talk to you about is super exciting, which is PBIS. PBIS stands for Positive Behavior Intervention and Support. And this is the way that we celebrate, reward, and reinforce the awesome behavior and the awesome choices, behavioral choices, that all of you are making every day. At Duluth High School, our special behaviors that we want to celebrate and highlight are being kind, being present, there's that attendance piece, right? And being invested, being kind, being present, and being invested. And so this year, all kids in all grades will receive points. Your teachers will assign them in the grade book, and you'll be able to see them in your student view in the MTSS tab. My ninth graders are very, very used to this. Those points will be used for shopping at a little store or for cashing them in for events privileges, treats, activities, and it's just a way for us to be intentional about celebrating all the good stuff that's happening out there. Sometimes we spend too much time looking at the hard stuff that's happening and we forget to celebrate the good stuff. So we see you, we see you making good choices and we want to make sure that we shout those out often and that's what PBIS helps us do. So guys, like I said, it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited to come alongside you and watch you learn, grow, work hard, and persist even when things get tough. We will never give up on you, and we will never let you give up on yourself because we care about you way too much to let you opt out of learning. So let's do this. Uh, email me, flag me down in the hallways if there's ever anything that I can do to support you. Love you, and I'll see you in the hallways and classrooms. Go Wildcats!